things please note down these notes are available in the description of video please download your notes dear students in this lecture of type study we will discuss dentition in mammals all bsc second year students please note down this is final exam topic dentition in mammals dentition that is a collective term which is used for the study of structure types number and arrangement of teeth in jaws in case of mammals generally teeth are present but in some mammals like spiny and eater echidna no teeth at any stage of life in some whales cetaceans like whale bone whales no teeth in adults in duck billed platypus it is ornithorhynchus in this mammal no true teeth only teeth are derived from epidermis so epidermal teeth are characteristic feature of duck billed platypus ornithorhynchus true teeth are absent in ornithorhynchus in toothed whales and dolphins all teeth are similar identical these are homodont but in case of mammals that is a characteristic feature of mammals the teeth are heterodont the teeth are of different type as in case of human beings four types of teeth incisors canines premolars and molars it means in case of mammals having different types of teeth called heterodont heterodentition the mammalian teeth are diphyodont the student diphyodont it means the teeth develop in two sets one is temporary teeth or milk teeth or it is deciduous teeth as these milk or temporary set is replaced by a permanent set but in case of marsupials kangaroos all milk teeth are retained except the last premolar mammalian teeth are thicodont dear students that is a characteristic feature of mammals the tooth that is embedded in a bony socket such teeth are thicodont the mammalian tooth that is present in a alveolar bone the bone produces a socket a cavity in that co cavity mammalian tooth is present such kind of teeth are thicodont this is the structure of vertical section of a typical mammalian tooth that shows three parts this outer exposed part it is crown this middle part of tooth which lies in gum region this one is neck and this lowermost part basal part of a tooth which is embedded in this bony socket that is root it means a mammalian tooth having three parts crown neck and root this crown is upper exposed part the neck this middle part which lies in gum region and this lowermost basal part of root of a tooth that is embedded in this bony socket this one is root this outer exposed part of a mammalian tooth it is enamel dear students this enamel it is the hardest part of body and this enamel it is made up of calcium phosphate or it is made up of hydroxyapatite that is the hardest part of our body and just below this enamel another layer which is maximum part of a tooth that is dentin and this dentin is also made up of calcium phosphate but more organic content so it is softer than this enamel but this dentin is harder than 
bone a tooth and closes a cavity and dear students not down this is pulp cavity and in this pulp cavity blood vessels connective tissue and nerve collectively constitute a pulp and this in this basal part the pulp cavity opens by a pulp canal through that pulp canal blood vessel connective tissue and nerve supply enter in a tooth in heterodont dentition teeth are of four types incisors canines premolars and molars incisors and the incisors are situated in the anterior region of a jaw dear students the incisors as name indicates incisors these are involved in cutting biting and seizing of food particles incisors these are single rooted only one root is there and these are monocuspid only one cusp is there in case of sloth the incisors are absent canines dear students canines just behind the incisors in our lateral positions canines are present these are conical pointed teeth and these are involved in piercing and tearing the food particles and the canines are large sized in carnivores but in case of man these are greatly reduced in case of walrus dear students in case of walrus the upper canines get modified into tusks the cheek teeth premolars and molars collectively constitute cheek teeth the premolars the premolars lie behind the canine dear students the canines which are absent in rodents like rat and rabbit in rodents in herbivores like rabbit these are absent canines are absent so there is a gap space is present between incisors and premolars and that gap space is very important for competitive exam that is diastema the premolars and the premolars always develop in milk sac these are a part of temporary sac and these premolars are replaced by permanent sac dear students these premolars having two cusps and two root these are two rooted and bicuspid and these are involved in mastication of food while the molars which lie behind the premolars and these molars having several cusps and more than two roots no doubt these molars are absent in temporary set it means the molars are part of permanent set and these are used in crushing 